Hi everyone, Crystal here. I wanted to share um, just a few quick projects that I completed. I'm actually on my way out to run to a christening slash first birthday party for my um, twin nieces. Um, I wanted to share with you uh, the cards that I made for them. So the first one here, they're already in this plastic thing, so sorry for the glare. Um, just made it really quick using my mind's eye um the heck I don't know the I forgot the name of the paper line but it's an older collection from that I picked up from um Marshalls last year and it's just really super cute. Let me see if I can move cuz the glare is just okay. So I just used, you know, one of the paper uh patterns from the collection, pulled that out, and then I adhered a doily here, a paper doily and then a fabric doily and then I punched the edges here with the Martha Stewart doily punch, I mean, um, EK Success doily punch. And then these are just some craft supplies, one um, fabric flowers there. And this is a, this is actually a Sizzix die um, that's kind of new. I'm not sure. It's the first time I ever used it. But I punched it out using another pattern from the collection, pattern paper from the collection. And then I um, used... I, I believe this is like the reverse side of this paper because my mind's eye is double sided. So I use that for the little um, wings there, whatever the heck those are called. <laughs> I think they're called wings. And then the nose, I use this like yellowy print one. Then for the feet, I used this, um, what is this, polka dotted uh, pattern here for the her feet. And then I used some lace here that I recently bought in a at an estate sale. I haven't even showed that haul because it's just way too much. I don't even think I am. Um, <laughs> I layered um, some of this trim that you can no longer see. It's like a like a pearl with I don't know what that's called gingham, not gingham. Um, a pearl with like a Chinese braid. I don't know. <laughs> My mind is like so gone right now and then this for her eyes I just used some glitter paper that I punched out and then I just adhered uh, black cardstock for the actual eyeball and so there's a bow up here with a shiny sequence type flower so that's the first one and it just says look who's one and then the second one I made is this one here, and this is using the oh so gorgeous um, Bonjour paper collection by Kaiser Craft, and that's the first time I ever cut into that paper, so it hurts. No, I'm just kidding, but um, I used like a polka dotted green and white piece back there, and I punched the edge here with an EK Success punch. Um, kind of layered some lace here and then this banner type trim there and then same down here and then here is um, the Sizzix crown that I cut out and then I just kind of blinged it up using some Saw Crafters um, flat back heart I geez where's my mind today flat back flower um, flowers there and then I just use some random Martha Stewart flat back bling to kind of bling up the crown and then these are craft supplies one flowers that I just love 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 I love all her flowers so did that one and then the third one I made was this one and this is using my mind's eye marketplace I believe I'm so bad. I should always bring out the paper pads, but anyhow, I um, punched out, or I used this glitter cardstock back here, punched the edge there with another EK Success punch. Um, this is some trim that I found in my stash. It was like a remnant, so there's that. And then, uh, again, I punched out a white crown, and this time I did flat back pearls instead of like bling but then I did put some bling at the top here and then here I used some pink uh, flat back flowers there and the same uh, flowers here for from craft supplies one 
So there's that. And again, my base is the corrugated cards from um, Michaels. So that was that. And then I quickly made a, I altered a box. And this is one of those um, treasure type boxes from Michaels. And I used Fairy Rhymes Paper Collection by Prima. Inked all the edges. Um, I haven't crackled in a while, so I wanted to um, crackle the, the box. So I did a pink base with the crackle medium over it, and then I did it with white. I did the top layer coating with white. So there's that. And then um, here I used an applique piece that I had in my remnant drawer. And then same here. This is a Wild Orchid Craft um, fabric butterfly. So I kind of just placed it in the front here. And then on the top I had this um, applique here, which I don't know. I believe I probably got it at an estate sale or something but I found that in my stash and oh my gosh I had to use this Rosanna flower um, that she made me because it's so so pretty and I'm like dying that I used it but it had it went so well with this box so I had to um, this here is just some doily that I had and like a remnant of a mint green doily so Definitely wanted to adhere that, so I kind of just laid it, you know, in the corner here. Um, this, these are some Craft Supplies One flowers. Oh, this one's a Wild Orchid Craft flower. This is a Craft Supplies One flower, and these are Wild Orchid Crafts. This one was a cream color, and I kind of just um, whitewashed it with some white acrylic paint. And then these are some nylon leaves that I got from LA. And this is a chipboard piece from the collection that I kind of just whitewashed with some white acrylic paint. And so that's the back. And then the inside is just the crackle. I really wanted the crackle to show on this because I love it so pretty. So that's my box and my cards that I created really quick because I had a little bit of time um, over the past couple days but um yep that's about it thanks for watching i hope you guys had a fantastic weekend um and enjoy the rest of your weekend i will talk to you soon bye